morning. Almost on time. Um, well, I am doing this as my laundry dries. I Who could think I'd be so happy to do the laundry, but I wanted to get it done, so I will be ready for uh, the next part of my journey, because I'm at the point where I'm kind of picking and choosing, you know, what's left to wear, and it doesn't necessarily match. Although, i got to show you my pants for today. It's not the top I'm going to wear, but it is the pants. I'm waiting for the top to come out of the laundry set. Hang on, because I've been waiting for this day. My pants. Oh, let's see, i got to tip the screen. <laughs> Are those too cute? Are those too cute? Wouldn't you just love to have some of those? <laughs> so that kind of uh, confirms. Hang on, i got to get myself back together now. I have to put a pillow on the chair so I'm tall enough to talk. Gosh, it's an interesting Interesting life being a short person, a little person. I'm two inches too tall to be a little person or belong to the little people of America. Just, you know, I am too tall for something. So my day yesterday, uh, just so you know, the, um, the charger has not at this point in time appeared. Uh, looked everywhere for it, tore everything up, and it's still not there. Went through all my bags, so I don't know if it shows up. I don't think it's been there all that while. I just don't. I, I don't know what to say. So about my day yesterday, um, I as I started out, um, I didn't have a list. You know, I usually have my ever faithful list, but I did not. My, yeah, Cheryl, my pants don't quite match my hair. They almost, but that hair that is washing out so fast that I, it has to have color tonight it has to have color i cannot bear being so uncolorful so um anyway getting back to my um my trip yesterday i knew hey Lynn, i knew it was a time to um go home uh to head for home i mean I, it was what the plan was anyway but i really really knew it i felt it you know when we Spend time daily uh, in prayer, meditation, talking to God, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have to have some big fancy name to it. Just um, connecting with that greater power that is within us and all around us and greater than us and in, you know, in the inside and transcendent, imminent inside, transcendent outside. So Spirit said, you know, open is it. That's as far and then you turn around. It's a right thing. I think I'd say that I am road weary. And I don't know if that would be different in the, under different circumstances. I just think I'm listening to spirit and spirit says, it's time. Go get those hugs from your family as brief as they may be. Their hugs and uh, you are free to, you know, go see them again at another time. But this part, that doesn't mean I'm healed from my pain and suffering, it does mean that I am um, continuing to heal. So I headed then yesterday for uh, for Oatman. Now I didn't go like direct. I went and I did some local things. Um, checked out a, a place called and I cannot. Let me see if I wrote it down because I can't pronounce it. Seligman. It's a little town. And um, stopped there, and it had a lot of cute, quaint things. And um, I had uh, on my mind when I saw all the little stores, I had in my mind, I have got to get that Annie Mouse's um, Route 66 Adventure uh, book because I sent one to Tristan, and um, I wanted one for myself so that Tristan and I could go through uh, the book and I'd say oh look at this page and show it up and he could find that page and say Nana was there you know that kind of thing it's a way to have a conversation with a three-year-old because three-year-olds are not known to be great conversationalists at at this point in time so um so I I haven't been able to find the book now once I when I bought the one for Tristan it was like in store after store after store now when I'm looking for the other one the matching one nope is not happening I can't find it anywhere so uh, that I ain't no quitter though those of you that know me know that so um, I could not get out of town yesterday it was like 
one thing after another. I have to make sure I have gas, and I have to, I had to get hair color, so I will be, uh, I think it's called Purple Plum tomorrow, Lord willing. Um, I, I would actually like to stop at a cheapo store and buy a, a towel that has color so I don't wind up, uh, after I put my color on tonight, you know, leaving a, pay, a towel with purple stains on it. They're not stains, they wash out, but still, I don't want people to think I'm some kind of slob. So it was like one thing after another. And so I thought I was being brilliant and I loaded these towns into my um, GPS places I wanted to stop next. And then I, uh, <laughs> they were going in the wrong direction. They were going east and I was still going west. So uh, fortunately, the error that I made brought me right to Sally Beauty where I could buy my um, buy my hair color. Now, when you put your hair color on, you know, you put Vaseline all where you don't want the hair color to go. That's why you don't know, have purple or blue or green ears and, and neck. And you know, I went to church one time with a big purple blotch on the back of my neck. I was humiliated my son. Why didn't you tell me that? You know. But anyway, uh, I, they didn't have any of that in Sally's. They didn't have anything. Oh, they had a $9 thing that looked like a chapstick. No, I could probably get a 39 cent chapstick and do the same thing. You know, it's kind of uh, strange when you go into a store and you um, ask for Vaseline. You kind of, hmm. um, but anyway, so that was the next thing I need to get. I needed to get that so that I could color my hair without coming out stained where I didn't want to be. And finally, finally, I got out of town. And was after that um, Mexican breakfast, which I think probably made me a little sluggish as well. And uh, so I um, I started on my way back, and I went to this uh, little shop with all the little stores. And guess what I found there? Roadkill Cafe. Now, by that time, it was getting so late, and I was frustrated. And so I said, I'm not even going in. But I took a picture of it, so it, it, it is on my phone. Well, as fortune would have it, I have to go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to um, Albuquerque and go north to go to Denver to be at my uh, grandson's house tonight. So um, I'll be going back and who knows, maybe I will, morning, maybe I will make a, uh, a stop at the Roadkill Cafe, don't know. All right, and oh, so tonight I plan on staying in Santa Fe. But uh, probably the reports of all the things I'm seeing are going to go down as I go home and start to reflect. But I hope, I hope you'll stick with me for the rest of my journey and, and see what's happening. So um, remember how I said I wasn't going to post pictures of scenery because they cannot be appreciated. Um, they, they can't. I still sent some because I couldn't help it. <laughs> And now I would like to tell you about some pictures that I didn't send because I couldn't send because I couldn't take them uh, because I was scared spitless. And as you know, we have, they have no, you know, no shoulders to speak of on the road. I went from, um, uh, God, I don't know what town preceded. I think it's that Seaman. I went from there up to, um, to Oatman, and uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let me see. I'm going to I'm gonna put a comment in. Let me see if this works. Uh, that doesn't mean to lose me. Click the link after. Uh, this is the road to Seagullman, and what I will uh, to, to Oatman, and what I will tell you, it is narrow. It has two small lanes. Much of it has no shoulder and no guardrails and there is a sheer drop off the side. You want to talk about being scared? If you've never been to Oatman, before you make up your mind to go on to Old Historic 66, which is the only way to get there, um, you better be prepared. I mean, if you live out west and you're coming east and you're just, oh, hang on. Oh, I thought I, <laughs> I had to sneeze. I thought, well, right. Anyway, if you are going um, east and, and, you know, if you're from west of Oatman and you come east and go back, that's just twisty turning. 
But if you're from west and you're going east, beware. You have to have nerves of steel, in my opinion, to drive on this. Now, not, is it, not only is it all the stuff I told you, but it's two lanes. Now, I spent most of my time hugging that middle lane. I, I made sure I had plenty of visibility to stay on the middle you know, the middle lines, I'm terrified. And then I'm driving along and here comes a freaking tank truck coming the other way. Yeah, you know, I, I got to the point where I thought, you know what, if this gets any worse, I'm in the car right here and I'm having someone come get me because I, I, I the, the drop off, and at the same time, the scenery, if I could have enjoyed it, was gorgeous. I could catch little glimpses of it, you know, going by me on the side of the road. View rock formations, canyons. I mean, I felt like I was driving along the edge of the dang Grand Canyon. When I say along the edge, I mean 12 inches. So, um, uh, and so you do all that, and it says, uh, watch for burrows next eight miles. I kid you not. I did not encounter just one. I encountered a couple. Now, I did have the wherewithal to stop and take a picture of one uh, before I wound up. And I'm thinking clearly this road that I was on was a, you know, it, it uh, evolved from being a, a borough trail back in the mining days because that there was mining there. You'd have to be mighty gold hungry to go on those roads, even with a freaking horse. You know, I guess you have to have a burrow pulling your because... Uh, I would trust them to be more short, you know, sure-footed because I think a borough trail started. Anyway, it was terrifying. Um, and we got to one point where there was a camper ahead of me and it pulled over and I pulled over and I said, man, is this thing going to end soon? Because I can't handle it. And he said, well, you are past the worst part. Well, just a little heads up for you. That piece, which is a pass, which I can't tell you the name of the pass yet, but I think when I put in the link, you'll see what it is. Um, that that pass has 123 turns in eight miles. When you're talking about a turn on a road with no shoulder and no guardrails, uh, you're talking heart stopping. And um, now for from one place and another, maybe after somebody died there, uh, there were wooden guardrails, and I'm going, oh, yeah, this is going to help a lot. And then, of course, a little stretch of the road, you would find a little like, uh, I don't know, they look like um, uh, uh, cement and stone curbs that were all of about, you know, seven inches high. That is not going to stop. I'm just saying. Ah, well, when you get to Oatman, after all that, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like a reward for the trip. Although I don't know how the place stays in business because I sure I will never go back there again. I tell you, mark my words. I don't even know in another lifetime if I would go back on that road. That was that was probably the most scared I've been on this entire trip. But it's it, there's a wonderful hotel um, in the center. Uh, the Altman Hotel, and uh, actually um, movie stars would go there. Clark Gable and Carol Lombard went there for their honeymoon. Now remember, they were from Hollywood, so they took the way from west to east. Curves, no cliffs. So uh, they did it the easy way. But um, um, because I got there late-ish, uh, a lot of things were closed. That's okay, shopping anyway. And uh, no sign of Annie Mouse's Route 66 adventure, but maybe today I will find it. We will see. So uh, I think, let me see if I missed any anything. Uh, do try to uh, uh, look at the video I'm going to post. In the first four to five minutes, you're going to say, that doesn't look so bad. It's 22 minutes long, and it's worth the watch, and I think that 22 minutes probably took me 40 minutes at best. I mean, a lot of places were 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. They say that for a reason. So the video I'm going to post to you is uh, on a motorcycle. Ah! <laughs> Just, ah! Uh, 
but at least the motorcycle is like, no no there is there is no easy way to take that road none so as i go off to my day and uh see if i might um go into road kill cafe they got a paper menu take one so i can i'm gonna make a collage of things on the way home it probably won't be real interesting i'll have to print my pictures to add to it because i haven't picked up many things i'm trying to stay very light in my traveling so all right have a good day i'm gonna post the video hang on let's see if that works and it did